Welcome to another grey day in Seattle. Do you know there are over 127 different ways to classify neighborhoods in the city? Hi, Alex Kais here, artist and realtor with A Home in Seattle. And this is North Seattle. Sorry, I think I turned the mic around too fast and you couldn't hear me. This is North Seattle. If you're new here, you'll find that most people live their daily lives within their neighborhoods, mostly to avoid traffic. I mean, I can't get anyone to come across the city to visit me. I'm using the city council districts to break down the city into a much more manageable seven quadrants. I have a few errands to run through District 5 today, so let's look at some coffee shops, some shopping, and homes here. I'm taking a break in between meetings, and I want to show you around, but first I need a coffee. My good friend is opening a coffee shop in his neighborhood. It's called Pilgrim Coffee, and before they open a brick and mortar store, they're operating as a coffee truck. Now that I have some coffee, let's talk stats. The average price for a starter home in this area of Seattle is $597,000. And starter home is kind of a subjective term. So I'm talking mostly about homes that have two to three bedrooms and one to two bathrooms. So let's go have a look at some of these. This condo's in Pinehurst, near the Northgate Mall. I love this neighborhood for all the unique condos. There are a lot of older buildings. This one was built in the 70s, which means more for the HOA to take care of, but it also means quirky mid-century design. It's listed at 330, with two bedrooms and two baths, and while it is fairly dated, with just a little bit of work, it could be a great living space. Okay, let's go right down the street to the Northgate Mall. This mall was supposed to be a beacon for North Seattle when it opened in the 1950s. But nowadays, I don't know anyone that actually enjoys going here. So it was announced earlier last year that it was essentially going to be torn down and redesigned. The NHL is building practice facilities, new shops are opening, and green space is being built all around this. It's the dream of new urbanism. If you're going to invest in a home in North Seattle, I think this is the place to do it. It may be still a little rough around the edges, but give it time and property values are going to go up, along with community-centric spaces. For a while, I wasn't really liking townhouses, but they're growing on me now. They're super space efficient, brand new, and good for people that don't want to take care of a house. And a lot of them have Airbnb or roommate potential, with a bedroom and a bathroom on the ground floor and all the private living space upstairs. I'm grabbing lunch with a friend at Gordito's, one of my favorite Mexican spots in the city. Not only are they delicious, but they compare the size of the burritos to babies. Come on. Let's go look at one more home east of here in Lake City. I wanted to show you what it looks like to take an old house and update it to something really beautiful. This neighborhood has a number of rundown houses just waiting for this treatment. There are even tons of different options for financing these renovations. Thanks for coming along with me today. I have to go home and we're meeting some friends for dinner. Make sure you like, subscribe, and follow down below. And if you have any questions about buying a house, send me a message and we'll chat about how to get started.